Hi, today we are going to look at a situation where we are asked to compare the size of a fraction with maybe a decimal or a percentage or even all three. And quite simply, the way to compare things that look initially different is to turn them into the same thing. And that is what we're going to attempt to do now. I'm going to have a look at these techniques simply by solving an exam style question. Now, before you start looking at this video, I'm hoping that you have familiarised yourselves with the methods for converting fractions and percentages into decimals and also how to put decimals into order because we are going to solve this problem by doing exactly that. At the moment, we have different formats of numbers, fractions, percentages and decimals. And that makes it very difficult to do a direct comparison. So by turning them all into decimals, we can look at it more easily. Now, let's start with the top one, five eighths. So the technique for converting a fraction into a decimal is to divide the top by the bottom. So five divided by eight. And if we do that, we get the answer, not 0.625. And the next one, well, here we have a percentage. So we need, again, to know the method of converting a percentage into a decimal. And in this instance, we divide by 100. So 68 divided by 100 becomes not 0.68. We're back to the fraction again. This is two thirds, so two divided by three. Now in this case, it does something a little bit different because if you divide two by three, you actually get 0 0.6666 and it goes on forever. We don't need to worry about that right this moment. I'll have a look at it a little bit later. Let's look at the fourth number we have here. And in fact, this is already a decimal. So all we need to do is leave it exactly as it is. It is not 0.64. Now, we can now forget the numbers on the left hand side because we've got them all converted neatly into decimals. You'll notice as I've been writing this down, I've done my best to make sure that the decimal point here is in a straight line. So the numbers are all lined up in order beneath each other. So how do we make the comparison? Well, we start by doing it column by column, starting here on the left hand side. We look at the bigger numbers and we work our way down to the smaller ones. So in this first column, we will look down and compare the numbers. Well, they're all zeros, so we can't make a comparison here. Second column. Again, they're all the same. They're all 0 0.6. So we can't start differentiating between them until we reach this column here. What do we have? We have a 2, a 4, a 6 and an 8. That is the biggest number. Therefore, 68% is the largest of the four. Look at the others. A 2, a 6 and a 4. Well, a 6... Is the biggest so two-thirds must be the second largest of the remaining two we've got a two and a four four is the largest so that must be the third biggest and the two there makes that the smallest number of the set now looking at these sixes and to a certain extent the five here we haven't used these simply because we haven't needed to these are far smaller numbers and they have no impact on this column here at all. Had any of these been the same, we may have moved on to the next column to see whether we could differentiate that way. But as it is, we're absolutely fine. And to complete this question, all you'd have to do is rewrite these numbers in the right order. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. And as far as this type of question goes, that's really all there is to it. It is far more important that you have a look back 
and make absolutely sure that you are comfortable with making those conversions. Well, I hope that's helped to take some of the mystery out of fractions, decimals and percentages. Um, if it has, please hit the subscribe button and uh, feel free to look at some of the other videos on my channel, uh, one of which is being recommended at the side of me here. Thank you very much.